Russell, and this is Ethan Hall. Today we heard uh, about the NFL teams and how they're doing this year. Let's hear from Alex. Thanks, Cameron and Ethan. Did you hear about Derek Carr? Man, we could have gone to the Super Bowl. But now the Falcons and the Patriots are going to go to the Super Bowl. I think the Falcons are going to win, though, because they, they've been stomping the Seahawks and the Packers left and right. But the Raiders were 12 and, 12 and 5. That's a big improvement from last year. And now the Panthers were 15 and 1, but now they're 6 and 10. And that means, like, the NFL is going to be good next year. So I hope the Falcons win. I'm Alex Smith. Back to you guys. And now, Nick has a special guest with him. Take it away, Nick. I'm here with Alo Moy, a well-known wide receiver in Utah. He is currently ranked third in the state. So, Alo, tell me your experience with Cottonwood High School. Uh, Cottonwood High School was a good program for me. Uh, I was actually in West Valley City. And so uh, my dad, he wanted to move us to a football program that would give us an opportunity to play at the next level. So Conwood provided that for the three years that I was there. And so, uh, you know, we had good coaches, good coaching staff, and school in and of itself was a good uh, program too. So. And tell me more on your Wyoming Cowboys football experience. So Wyoming, so I had multiple offers everywhere in the, uh, in the nation. Um, but because I wanted to serve a mission, Wyoming was the first school that said that they would hold my scholarship until after I finished serving my mission there. So, Mountain West, man. <laughs> I heard that you did um, give up your football career for, for your LDS mission. I did. So, uh, you know, it was hard at first, but I already made up my mind when I was a kid that I would serve my mission um, and that nothing else would stop it, even if it was football. So, you know, even though I had a you know, a good career during my years in high school. Uh, serving an LDS mission was, was more important than that, so. Awesome, and there we have it. Back to you guys. Thanks, Nick, for that fabulous interview. Now to Alma with the weather. Thank you, Ethan. Now here's our weather for the read. Monday's gonna be sunny with a 19% chance of rain. Tuesday is going to be sunny with 38% chance of rain. Wednesday is going to be partly cloudy with 48 5% chance of flying rain. Thursday is going to be rainy. Friday is partly cloudy with 51% chance of rain. And Saturday and Sunday are going to be sunny. Thanks, Alma, for that report. Now to Dan at the DGH Farm. Hello! We are the Redneck and we got 10 commandments for you. Alright, so if you're going to be a Redneck, you definitely need to have a goat that you treat like your baby. Number two, you must wear cowboy boots. They have to have a heel on them. Number three, you must have a hidden belly accent, like mine and his. Number four, you must own a firearm. That's a really big firearm. Number five, you must use duct tape and WD-40 to fix anything and everything. Number six, you must wear camouflage. Number seven, your house must be on wheels. Number eight, you must wrap everything in garbage bags. Number nine, you must wear a cowboy hat, or if you don't have a cowboy hat, get a one like this man. Grab a shaver and shave the sides off. Got a business in front, party in the back. Number ten, you must drive a Duramax or Cummins diesel. Dirty Max is better. Cummins. Thanks, Dan. Don't you love goats? I love goats. Yeah. Well, it's about time, folks. Uh, we will see you when the goats come home. <laughs>